What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about silver bars and why I like them so much. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug as well as the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tee available in orange, gray, and purple. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk all about the silver bars. Oftentimes, I talk about silver in general, silver coins, rounds, bars. I talk a lot about gold, too. But today, I wanted to focus on the silver bars. And for a quick second, I will allow my Halloween silver round to make a quick appearance because it is, after all, October. And in case anybody was wondering what the current spot price is, as I'm recording the video, it's about $25. It just cracked the $25 mark just today. It was $24 and change yesterday. It was $23 and change the day before. Not that it matters. The ups and downs, it's all just for the short term. And by the way, in case you didn't know, I just posted four new deal alerts this morning in the VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description if you're interested in discounts, giveaways, personalized promo codes, discounts, shout outs, privately held live streams, and much more. But moving away from all that, I wanted to talk about the silver bars today and talk about why I like them. And I have one of each of my types of silver bars on screen right here, which I'm just now realizing isn't actually the case because I have two little poured silver bars as well. And I have a couple one gram silver bars that was given to me as a gift. But these are the main ones. These are the ones that I often show off most frequently in my videos. These are the big dogs and the most popular silver bars that I typically stack, more specifically the sunshine bars. But I want to talk about this today. I want to run through each of these bars, talk about when I got them, why I got them, the spot price around the time when I picked them up. That's what I'm gonna do today. So of all of these silver bars on screen, my first one, was the five ounce sunshine bar right there in the middle. This was picked up Black Friday of 2018. And truth be told, I didn't want the five ounce bar. I wanted the 10 ounce bar. I was watching a lot of videos of people doing 10 ounce silver bar unboxings and I remember here an overtaxed taxpayer talk so highly of the 10 ounce silver bars and how it just feels incredible in the hand. And I knew that I wanted a 10 ounce silver bar, specifically a 10 ounce silver sunshine bar. And all I had stacked prior to this five ouncer, just a bunch of one ounce silver coins, rounds, and I didn't have any one troy ounce silver bars at the time, only coins and rounds. And I remember saying to myself, I want that 10 ounce bar. I really want it. But something tells me I need to work my way up to the 10 ounce bar. I need to get a five ounce bar first. So that's exactly what I did. On Black Friday of 2018, I don't remember what the spot price was at the time. It was about 15, 16 bucks, somewhere around there. The premiums were very, very fair back then two years ago before the whole planet came crashing down. And what made it even better was the fact that I got this at a discounted fiat dollar bill price. Again, it was a Black Friday sale. A few days later, after Black Friday, was Cyber Monday, which is when I picked up the 10 ounce silver bar. I placed this order online before I even got the five ouncer in the mail. But I did something a little bit different with this 10 ounce silver bar. I left it inside the box that it came in. I did not open it until Christmas morning. 
This was my Christmas gift to myself in 2018. Pretty happy I did that. I spent the entire rest of November and all of December enjoying my first piece of silver, that five ounce silver bar, my first piece of silver that was above the one troy ounce increment. And then I rewarded myself with a 10 ounce silver bar. My first full year of stacking was 2018. So that's how I got this. Spot price was practically the same. Keep in mind, it was just a couple days after I got the five ounce bar, 15, 16 bucks maybe, premiums were fair. And I got it at an extremely discounted price. It was Cyber Monday. Now, all throughout 2019, all I stacked when it came to silver bars anyway were sunshine bars. I love sunshine bars. They are my favorite. They were my favorite before I even owned a silver bar. I love the way they look. I'm just really drawn to the very simple design. I'm a simple guy. I appreciate simplicity. But my favorite thing about Sunshine products, the proof of authenticity on the back. Mint Mark SI, if you have the decoder lens, you can scan over top. I really have to make one of those decoder lens videos. I've been talking about it for over a year. I still have not done that. I gotta do that soon. You scan over top and it says the word valid inside. That's how you know it's real. A little security feature. Low premium. One of the most recognizable silver bars on the planet with proof of authenticity and not a crazy premium? Yes, please. Also in 2019, I was given a silver bar as a gift. This one right here. A lot of people ask me what this bar is. And even though it is technically a bar, it's actually technically a coin. It's an Australian $1 coin from 2018. And I apologize, I don't remember who sent this my way. Hey, really quick, after filming this video, I went through my really old videos and I found exactly who sent this my way. It came from Elpor Cano, all the way from New Zealand. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. But this is technically a coin. It's a coin bar, a bar coin, a coin in the shape of a bar, whatever you wanna call it, or you could just call it a bar if you want. But it has face value. And it has a dragon on both sides. <laughs> I'm just fooling around. So that was given to me as a gift in 2019. After that, I picked up the silver flag bar, I believe in 2019 as well. Very simple silver bar, American flag, because I am blessed and lucky and fortunate enough to be an American. I love America and I love silver. This intertwines the two. And then on the other side, nothing special. I got it from Modern Coin Mart. One ounce, three nines fine, silver. Pretty simple design, nothing special, nothing crazy. But the beautiful American flag on this side. Got that in 2019 as well. Then in 2020, when everything started to get shaken up, this 10 ounce silver bar from Silver Gold Bull, they had been doing a really cool sale or incentive where you can pick up 10 troy ounces of silver at spot. Many websites do this. A lot of them though, offer you 10 one troy ounce silver rounds. This one offered you one 10 troy ounce silver bar. I don't know why I never capitalized on it. I went all of 2018, all of 2019, and the first couple of months of 2020 not picking this up. 
I don't know why that is. I don't know what kept me from placing the order or picking one of these up. It was a really good at spot deal. I don't know why. I don't have a reason. I have no idea. I just never did. But then when spot price tanked and then it started to make that seemingly V-shaped recovery, I ended up picking up this silver bar when spot price was about $19 and change. So it was supposed to be $190 or so. I actually got it for less than that. You see, it would have been about $190 if you pay with a check. It would have been $200 if you pay with a credit card, but I used a cash back credit card that gave me 10% cash back, which actually brought it down lower than it would have been if I paid with a check. See, I try to be strategic. So I got this for closer to 180 bucks when the spot price was $19. This was an at-spot deal that I technically got below spot. So that's always fun. Like I said, I try to be financially strategic. And then the cool thing about this bar is it has a vertical design over here, but then if you flip it over, horizontal design. Build your wealth in ounces. That's something that I've been saying since probably 2018, I don't like to measure my wealth in dollars. I measure my wealth in ounces. Somebody might say, how much is that worth? I tell them, it's worth 10 troy ounces of silver. That's how much it's worth. So moving away from this bar, let's go on over to the next. This is one that I picked up just the other day, I placed the order. It, it was actually part of a pre-order. I pre-ordered the new Queen's Beast, and I included a random silver bar with the order. So I had to wait for it to be shipped out, which took about two weeks maybe. And it finally arrived. And this is the one troy ounce silver bar that I got. I ordered it, but I didn't know exactly what I was gonna get. I could have gotten a sunshine bar, a little one troy ounce sunshine bar. I could have gotten really any one troy ounce silver bar. But I got this, and it is, if you flip it over, Westminster Mint, which, truth be told, I had never heard of prior to getting this silver bar. Never heard of them before. I looked them up. They have, I'm not sure if they have five ounce versions of this bar, but I know they have a 10 ounce version of this bar and it has the same design on the back with a big eagle right here in the center. So it's really nice. That might be one of my next 10 ounce silver bar pickups. I really like the way that looked. I'm also really drawn to Silvertown bars, RCM bars. I don't have either of those two and I would love to get both of those thought it might be kind of cool to start a little bit of a 10 ounce bar collection. I'm not really a collector and that's not really, you know, a collectible series, but I thought it might be kind of cool to get one of all of the 10 ounce silver bars out there, one at a time, yeah, just for fun. I thought it would be kind of cool, kind of interesting to do. But these are some of my silver bars. Like I said, I have more than this. I've picked up more sunshine bars throughout 2019. I have poured silver bars and I do happen to have these on hand. So let me show you what these look like. Little one gram silver bars. These were given to me by my cousin. He knew that I was stacking a little bit of silver. He knew that I liked it. He has no idea what I have, how much I have, or really anything like that. He just knows that I like silver. So as a Christmas present, he gave these to me, which is really cool. 
little one gram silver bars, and there's 10 of them, so technically it's 10 grams of silver right there. I want you guys to head on down to the comments. When it comes to the generic silver, when it comes to silver that is not a coin, maybe we can take this out of frame for a moment. When it comes to generic silver, do you prefer the rounds or the bars? You see, I like silver rounds, but I'm just really drawn to silver bars. I guess for me, aesthetically, rounds look virtually identical to coins, typically anyway, at least the shape. Silver round, silver coin, you close your eyes, they feel about the same. I've always been really drawn to silver bars, especially larger denomination silver bars. And I'll tell you exactly why that is. I've seen, I don't own any, but I've seen five ounce, 10 ounce silver rounds, large circular pieces of silver. They look really cool. They look really unique, really interesting. I would like to get one. They just seem fun to have. But they always reminded me of those big novelty coins, the big fake silver quarters and, and dimes and nickels and, and pennies and stuff like that. I, I had those when I was a kid. You know, I, I think they came in like a, a magic set or something like that. I don't remember. But they just remind me of those. They remind me of the big fake coins. And when it comes to the silver bars, Overtax was right. They feel really good in the hand. It really makes you feel like you're holding on to something of real substance, real value, something really substantial. Just a big block of wealth. So when it comes to the silver bars or the silver rounds, which is your preference? We all have our own personal preferences. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Really all about the shape of the precious metal. And if you guys are interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I can read more comments and respond to more viewers in real time. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. I actually just posted four deal alerts today alone. Some of you already capitalized on it. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just recently hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed T-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' T-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. Comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, the limited edition DYDSS Halloween tee available in orange, purple, and gray. Only available this month, so get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. When it comes to the generic silver, coins aside, speaking about just basic generic secondary market rounds and bars, between the two, which is your preference? Not that it matters. A bar is just a rectangular shaped round and a round is just a circular shaped bar. They're the same exact identical thing, assuming that they weigh the same exact identical amount of silver. They're the same thing, different shape. If you have a preference, let me know yours in the comment section down below. Do you prefer rounds over bars, bars over rounds? 
Maybe you don't stack either. Maybe you don't like generic silver. Maybe you don't like secondary market silver. Maybe you actually prefer or require your stack to consist of government minted coins. Head on down to the comment section down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.